good, everybody. So, but and I take it, and welcome back to Higurashi Ma Kai Mayakashi. Now then, looks like the good news is it kept my save files. Thank freaking lord. Also, I am trying out a new setup with this uh, microphone. Hopefully, it sounds good. I kind of hope it does. If it doesn't, please be sure to let me know. I'm trying out this thing called a noise gate. I again not that intelligent when it comes to this sort of thing, so I kind of research a little bit about this. This should help mitigate and get rid of any background noises that you guys have been hearing, such as, you know, the sound of my chair creaking, um, hmm, and pretty much whatever minor noises that might annoy you guys. Anyway, let's just finally jump right back in. I'm not even entirely sure if it would even pick up the sound of my, uh, my, uh, mouse. Anyway. Jump right back in. It's a very quiet afternoon, as always. Since I can't go outside as myself, I have to match schedules with Mio when I go shopping. I've gotten used to it by now, so it's no longer a hassle. Because of this, I naturally have to buy things in bulk. Today, I shuttled between shops in my home. Being in a good mood, I spun around with my arms spread out. I felt like a little whirlwind. Oh. My arm hit a motorcycle parked on the sidewalk. It obviously wasn't where it was supposed to be. I gave it a kick with no hesitation. There were three motorcycles lined up there in a row. Oh boy. They all fell like dominoes. It was a beautiful sight. This is fun, I thought. Being in such a good mood made me leave my guard down. I didn't realize that the owners of the motorcycles were right nearby. They looked pretty scary. They grabbed me by the neck and dragged me into a dark out. Oh god. Then they called me all kinds of names. Everything was happening too quickly for me to grasp what was going on. What the hell is up with that voice? Jesus Christ, bro. A little drunk? Whoa. They can't really talk properly. I didn't have a clue what they were saying. I had to translate their alien tongue into normal human words in order to understand. We are very upset because you knocked down our motorcycles. You should immediately pay for the repair and compensation. Yeah, that was probably it. That's our offer. What do you say? We'd be happy to listen to your opinion. Something like that. What? What in damn? But what in down? What? What? No, I don't. E Is that even English? What the hell am I saying? It's Japanese. I know what they're trying to say, but somebody has to warn them about the way they park their motorcycles. It wouldn't be fair to those who obey the rules if there were no punishment for those who disobey them. This is an accident, but it must also be God's will. But God? You can use me to punish these guys, but how will you compensate me later? I heaved a huge sigh. Of course, I wasn't afraid in this situation at all, because it wasn't a dangerous one for me. These three guys were yelling at the top of their lungs at a girl. They didn't look good doing it, and they had too many disadvantages. First, there was the difference in gender, and in the number of people. Even if I did something wrong, as men shouting at a woman, it didn't make them look like they were in the right. Add to that, there were three of them. It already looked like it was going to get violent. Second, the location. Taking a girl into a dark, narrow alleyway is already a bad idea. And on top of that, they're asking for money, not just an apology. Thanks to these facts, the public will be on my side. 
so this is a fight they couldn't possibly win. The only way for them to win would be to take my money before somebody finds out. Considering that, taking me to this narrow, secluded alleyway might have been a smart move, since fewer people will find out about the situation. I knew how slim their chances of winning were. From the very beginning, they had picked the wrong girl. I'm Mion Sonazaki now. It'd be foolish to mug her in Okinomiya. Soon enough, the people of Hinamizawa would notice me and gather around. They don't spare mercy for their enemies, no matter what. The punks didn't know this area well. If they did, they'd have known how silly it was to rob Mion. Plus, the alleyway isn't as always as empty as they assumed. This side street is a shortcut which local people frequently use on their way home. In the late afternoon, many people will be passing through here. That time had almost arrived. If I held off a little longer, the street would soon be filled with people. Then the punks would have to go away. I didn't have to do anything. I just had to wait in order to win. This was a simple fight like that. While they could hurl abusive language at me or lift me up by my collar, they weren't actually going to resort to violence. Cheers to the educational system for ingraining the ladies first mindset. But as a wicked person, I wanted to toy with them a bit, even though I could win this by, white, by waiting. I wanted to paint them as even more villainous and drive them into a corner that would be even harder to talk their way out of. That demonic desire was rearing its horns. To put it plainly, I'd only need to act as the poor helpless victim a little further. Like the pathetic, pitiful, tragic heroine everyone wants to sympathize with. In a case like this, I shouldn't I shouldn't start crying immediately, because they'd get nervous and draw back. If it were act if it were truly if it were a truly threatening situation, that would work. But I needed something different here. I'd pretend to be strong at first. In fact, I thought, why don't I challenge them? And eventually, I'd start trembling, my voice would fade, and I'd get tears in my eyes. It'd be even better if I played the role of a strong girl who's slowly giving in to fear. Mion and I are probably the only ones who are capable of pulling that kind of stuff off. Well, I'm probably better than her. So, so I talked back with a little hesitation. Am I getting tears yet? Yes! By the way, I've heard men can't shed tears on command. Huh? I feel sorry for them. What? You sure about that? Hmm. The three punks faltered a bit due to my sudden change in attitude, but they soon started yelling at me again. I had to keep it going. That way, they'd blatantly look like they're picking on a helpless girl. I could barely hear that. Is it just because of the way these guys are talking? I mean, I can hear me. Or, god damn it, I almost called her Mio. Fuck! It looked like they were laying off a bit. Did I overdo it a little? It'd be boring if they let me go now. At that moment. Hello? A boy around my age appears. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Same color eyes as Sa. You're Satoshi? He was skinny. He looked weak. He looked younger than he probably was. He also looked smart. He bravely glared at the punks. The punks turned away from me to face the boy instead. The boy looked a bit agitated when the punks started yelling at him. They sure were ruthless. But the boy must have known that from the beginning. He must have known that he was going into a dangerous situation. Yet he didn't hesitate. Hesitate. <laughs> 
He must have wanted to shout back at them, but he'd probably never used that kind of language in his life, so he couldn't have expressed his feelings out loud. He might not have even known what to say. So he just kept on glaring at them, to let them know that he wasn't going anywhere. The three punks, though, might have thought he was just lost for words in his fear, but I knew different. The boy was overpowering them with nothing but his will. The punks were losing, so they resorted to violence. They grabbed him and knocked him down. They hit, kicked, and tossed him around. It looked painful, but I knew. It was his victory. In the end, local passerbys stopped, a local passerby stopped the punks. They made no further fuss and just went away. The boy stood up. He was covered in dust. He looks fine to me. He smiled when our eyes met and asked me if I was all right. He didn't look particularly okay himself, though. <laughs> he laughed, saying that he was watching from the beginning. That meant he had the option to walk away, but instead he had worked up the courage and stepped in. So you know, I you kid they was buying you they must be no hodo shiraz to you can know. うん。ミオは口が減らないね。助けてくれてありがとうくらい言ってくれよ。うん。泣いてたじゃないか。別に泣いてなんかいません。あれはちょっとした演技で。So <笑> Satoshi did no Mion. I mean, that's to be expected. I mean, I remember that they... Hmm. Maybe, I'm, maybe I'm remembering incorrectly, but... I could have sworn that anytime Satoshi was mentioned, they just tried brushing it off or they were being extremely ominous about him. ちょ、ちょっと! <laughs> <laughs>。I realized one thing. He must be one of Sis's friends. He didn't seem to realize I'm her twin. He thought I was Mion with a different hairstyle. Mion and I had to live separately since before we went to elementary school. Mion was in Hinamizawa. And I was in Oik Okinomiya. I lived in a totally different environment from her. So, it's not strange that people don't know me. Actually, only very few people know I exist. I almost told him that I'm not Mion, but I managed to stop myself. Shion shouldn't be here. He's from Hinamizawa. It wouldn't be good if he thought he saw a Mion lookalike in Okinomiya. So I had to act like Mion. Dealing with him could be more difficult than handling those punks. つまりはどういう意味です。ミオンのことだから、なんだか珍妙な憲法でも使って瞬く間にできたりしてしまうんじゃないかって期待してたね。だから泣き出した時は正直驚いた。だ、だから。あれは泣き真似だったって言ってる
バカにしてますひょっとして I stuttered in embarrassment. He looked calm as if he was used to doing this. <laughs> Nandem o yo. Yo kata j a n a i k Yo kata te. Nani go desu? Buji de. He smiled while he kept stroking my head. His smile looked divine. He wasn't going to stay for long. He had already saved me from those guys after all. Ja. <laughs> I wanted to go through all the steps of meeting someone for the first time, but he didn't. As far as he was concerned, he just saved a friend from danger and wanted to leave quickly to avoid seeming pretentious. He and Mion must be friends who knew each other well. So I couldn't bring myself to ask, What's your name? Mion's friend smiled once again. His smile looked as refreshing as a clear blue sky. This time he smiled a bit mischievously. あ、信じないよ。ミオンが泣いてたなんて誰にも言わないから。もっとも言ったところで誰も信じないだろうけどね。天下無双の院長が泣いてたなんて絶対誰も信じない。You seem pretty likable. He patted the dust off his butt once again. He walked back to the sunny main road away from the dark alley. Then he turned around. He disappeared into the brightly lit street. I continued to sit in the gloomy alleyway. I could no longer see him. I was just staring absent mindedly at the bright light. That was the first time I met Satoshi kun. Oh? I'm not even allowed to walk freely under the sun. I met a boy on a sunny day. How can a perverse girl like me fell in love with his. In How come a perverse girl like me fell in love with his innocence? Notebook, page 5. So, yeah, Satoshi, Dio, Satoshi. So, no talk to take in a wink to Kiasku Atamao, Nadirukseva, Machigai Nine. The boy from earlier is called Satoshi Hojo-kun. Mion said that he'd o he's always daydreaming, so she didn't believe that he saved me at first. なかなか面白いやつだよ。なかなか悪知恵が働くしね。その癖を追い詰められるとなくし。見てて退屈しない子だね。まあ、最近はいろいろとあってね。ちょっと調子を落としてるけど。うん。Bringing why? Why am I trying to ask so much about him? As I asked myself that, the feeling I got when he struck my head came back to me. I must have been blushing. You love him. Oh god. What Sis told me was very interesting. She told me that the parents of Satoshi kun and his little sister are dead. Satoshi kun and Satoko are now living with their uncle and aunt. They don't seem like very respectable people. Not so much they don't seem like it, they're not. They're always fighting, and the uncle is cheating on the aunt. He mostly lives with his mistress. Satoshi kun and Satoko entered into that unwelcome environment. What surprises me the most is the fact that Satoshi kun's parents were the Hojo couple who were the leaders of the pro dam activists. That fact must have added something to the situation. 
I don't know what kind of stance the uncle and aunt took during the dam conflict, but they must have taken some indirect blows. It is thundering outside again. Hopefully it doesn't pick up on the recording. Satoshi Kun's parents died after bothering them so much, and even left them their children. The, aunt, the uncle and aunt obviously can't love those kids. Things have gotten worse this past year, too. Women can be really nasty bullies. Sometimes it doesn't matter who they're bullying, even if it's a kid. On top of that, women tend to care less about pr propriety, pro propriety than men. As a result, Satoko just seems exhausted with it all. I can imagine Satoshi-kun bravely protecting his little sister, just like when he saved me. なら、サトシ君も普段は疲れてるってことになるのかな。え？サトシ君がおばにいじめられるたびに、きっとサトシ君は妹をかばってると思う。妹が疲れるのと同じくらい、サトシ君も疲れてると思うのは私の考えす
そうなのかいごめん気づかなかったよ He smiled self derisively and shrugged. He looked depressed, like something was troubling him. Nanika, Nayami got to demo. Kite Rakuni Naru Mononara Kikushi, Chikarani Naru Mononara Oshima Nagedo. Yeah, Betsne. Atasha Satoshkuni, a ikko, Karina Rukarane. So little Monani? Ojisanja Chikarani Narena to Motteruake? みくびられたもんだな別にミオンの力を借りたら意味がないことだからさほうそれは何つまりあたしごとき女の手は借りたくないってこと Thinking him unfair, I puffed up my cheeks in a sulky gesture. Satoshiku noticed that and smiled. 違うんだよミオン。僕に実力がなくてここ一番で打てなかったってだけのことなんだよ。Baseball? I mentally rifled through all the information about Satoshi Kun that Sis had given me. He doesn't look like much of an athlete, but apparently Satoshi Kun belongs to a junior baseball team. They're called the Hinami Zawa Fighters. I doubt he's very skilled since I didn't hear much about his contributions to the team. Maybe that's why he doesn't tell many people that he's a member. Given how down he felt as a result of messing up, though, he must be fairly dedicated. I deduced all that from what Sis told me, and carefully chose my words so as to sound like her. I pat his back while chuckling. Satoshi Kun would probably call me insensitive. I knew I should listen to him rather than trying to cheer him up. Acting like Sis was probably the wrong thing to do in this case, but I had no choice. This was just how she'd react in the situation. Hahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahah
I felt helpless, like a girl being treated by the dentist with her mouth open and her eyes shut. Satoshi-kun didn't seem to notice any feelings, notice my feelings at all. He didn't seem to care. I hate him. With my eyes still closed, I waited for him to finish. He suddenly withdrew his hand. My voice faltered. I was so embarrassed. Shoot. I messed up. In the main Sonazaki house, the maids do everything. Therefore, Mion hardly goes grocery shopping, and she's bragged to some people about that. I should have known better. Still, it wouldn't be too hard to find an excuse. ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ
ひどいなあったこれかなひょいひょいだ,だからそれは違う何でもカゴに放り込む前に値段と何人分かをよく確認する My first impression of Satoshi Kun was that he was strong and reliable. But the more I spoke to him, the more surprised I was at how clumsy and unreliable he was. How do I put it? It was hard to leave him alone. He was dangerous on his own. If he wasn't careful, he might start wondering did he cross the street when the light is red? Or was it green? And get himself run over by a dump truck. <laughs> <laughs> That's about seventeen dollars, right? Stamp card or a much this car? Oh, oh, hi, Arimus. To are it to cook an ah, Sumimase. Toto Miatara nine de Kondo de Edis. I finished checking out, ignoring Satoshi Kun as a fish threw his wallet full of receipts. スタンプちゃんと押さないと、もったいないよ。あんた、夕暮れ時のお買い物ラッシュの時に、のんびりと財布をあさってスタンプカードなんか探さない。後ろに大勢待ってるんだから。私たちの後ろで、お店に邪
Uh, yeah, buddy, back on your Satoshi Kun's sulky face flushed red. Uh, he's just too cute. At that point, I caught a glimpse of a billboard from the corner of my eye. Piano lessons. Call XX. Abacus class. Junior baseball team. Members wanted. It was a posting for the team Satoshi Kun belonged to. It showed the day, time, and place of their next practice. By then, I knew just how flaky he was. I figured he must be just the same when playing baseball. Satoshi Kun realized that I was reading the posting. He looked uncomfortable and walked away. Satoshi Kun became quiet after mumbling something. It seemed like he couldn't say anything back since I had been right on the money. Satoshi Kun, you're just too cute. I don't think going silent is a good way to dodge the issue. Well, it might have just been the way innocent people like him would react in a situation like that. Oh boy. あ、あ。大丈夫、大丈夫。ていうか、サトシ君が何を手伝うおつもりで人の手伝いする前に自分が手伝われなくて買い物できるようになっといてくださいな。まあ、今日の匂いは人気は意地悪かな。<笑><
布団に入りな。サチコ crawled in like a worm. She stopped moving once she was inside. I wished I could go to bed too. But I couldn't. My aunt asked me to do some chores. I had to get toothpaste after school tomorrow. I had to write it down somewhere. I had to make rice for lunch tomorrow. I set the timer. Right. I also had to repile the towels in the bathroom. That was the reason for today's scolding. My aunt will get mad if everything isn't done the way she wants. Oh, and there was something else. I was working at the grocery store the next day. They wanted me to bring an apron. Did we even have an apron in this house? I'd never seen one. My aunt will be sleeping when I go to school, so I won't have time to ask her. What should I do? Since Mion helped me get that job, I, I don't want to screw it up. In that case, why don't I ask Mion about it at school? She might lend me one. Was, was there anything else? Hmm. I was envious of Satoko because she got to go to bed. It was pathetic that I felt that way. Damn. Are all of these just going to be excerpts about what's going on with Satoko or Satoshi and Satoko? I used to like reading the tips, but now I don't think I'm going to like them anymore now. Hmm. So definitely what we're seeing here is... Obviously, Shion is really, you know, getting a little too involved with Satoshi. Satoshi's under the impression that Shion is Mion, and I'm not sure how he would react to that the girl that he's been spending much like time like this with is not Mion, rather Shion. It seems like a combination of Shion's actions and Satoshi's involvement. I feel like those are going to be the two main factors that dictate what happened in the future. And what might also ruin uh, Mion and Shion's relationship. But it seems like Satoshi is kind of in the middle of it all with like no awareness of what's going on. Except for because, well, I mean, he's already busy enough dealing with his bitch of an aunt and asshole of an uncle. Not to mention trying to take care of Satoko, too. Hmm. Well. On a side note, hopefully this, uh, this change of recording style works. Like, using the, um, trying out this thing called, trying out this, uh, noise gate thing. Obviously I'll check it out in the, um, editing process, but, um, I'm going to leave this a little bit shorter because I have a project that I'm currently working on. I think a few people in Discord know what I'm talking about, but I'll leave it as a surprise for the rest of you guys. I just gotta get all this taken care of, and I'm not sure when it will be uploaded, but I would like your guys' opinion on it once it actually does, you know, whenever I finally finish it. Anyway, <sighs> I know all this lightheartedness is just going to lead to tragedy in the end, I just know it. But, I'm just going to take my time and just try to enjoy it for what it is. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.